Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with some products that I'm trying to work with and see if I can work with them a little bit better and a couple of new products. And I started off today without any sort of uh, primer. I just went ahead and used my skincare and my moisturizer. And I think that's actually working a little bit better with this NYX and NYX uh, Bear With Me Blur. And uh, with this particular product, it wants to sit down really fast. And um, I just think, for me at least, uh, not using or not having a primer underneath is actually helping a little bit as far as the wear on it. And I got the shade 03 Light Ivory. Uh, this particular shade has a lot of pink in it so if you're looking for something neutral or on the warm uh, yellow side uh, this shade wouldn't be for you but they have all sorts of other shades it's a big shade selection on this one and then um, as far as what else I did um, I did go ahead and use the Soul and this is a sister company to Colourpop it's on the same website I have their um, yeah, the bronzer are in medium. It smells wonderful. And um, so that's what I went ahead and used more as a contour than a rather rather than an actual um, bronzer. And then as far as bronzer, I had actually gotten a bronzer way back when the Going Coconuts came out or when I got it. And um, it's a coconut beach. I think it may be the same one that they're bringing out at Target. So this is the uh, coconut beach and I have this on as a actual bronzer today. And then as far as new, I did go ahead and get the Let's Dance. And this is one of the heart, yeah, well, one of the heart uh, blushes. Uh, these are supposed to have a better formula, or at least some people think they're a better formula than uh, the regular uh, blushes. I don't see that. Um, it's a good formula. I'll agree there. But as far as um, being a better formula, I don't really think so. Um, at least I haven't seen that. And so this is the way that that blush goes on. So this one is yeah, the Let's Dance. And then I did go ahead and use the Seismic Highlighter. Probably this and the Flexitarian are my favorite. There are a whole bunch that I haven't tried yet, so I might be trying some new ones in the future here. Yeah, and um, let's see, what else did I have on? Um, hmm, La Cienga. And I hope I'm saying that right. So there's that color. And this is from the Glowing Lips collection. I like this collection a lot. It reminds me of the Just a Tints, um, but they don't actually bleed. Um, just by getting older, I found that a lot of lipstick can end up up here or down there. And so these are nice. They don't bleed like that. And I have the next Stick It, Stick It and the Light Ash Brown on. And the uh, Superhero uh, Mascara by It Cosmetics. And so um, I also have, let's see, the Butter Glow. And this one's in translucent, and this is what I have on as far as my finishing powder. As far as the eyeshadow, let's go ahead and we'll get right over to that. Okay, so moving on to the eyeshadow palette. And this is the Super Bloom palette. Um, it's new. It's uh, going into Target. And you can also get it on the ColourPop website. As far as um, the colors themselves, they're all based on gray. So um, all the greens in here are based on gray. This is actually a gray as well. Uh, this is a gray almost going to black. This one is definitely a green based on gray. Um, you have a couple of them that are more based on yellow, but everything is sort of lending itself to gray. Um, 
usually, well, the first time I wore these, I went ahead and I used the, what is this, a pretty fresh concealer underneath. And this is what I use as a base or a base for most of my eyeshadows, but it really, it, it just brought them out to the point that they were so saturated that I kind of felt uncomfortable in them. So this time, um, I just went ahead and used the NYX Blur. And this sits down really fast. And so it isn't as much of a creamy base for the eyeshadows. And I think it worked out a little bit better because even though it's a green and it's going to be punchy anyways, it's not as saturated as what it was. So I would maybe go ahead and use this um, <clears throat> with uh, no base underneath it. Um, because you definitely don't need anything that's going to make the colors punch any more than they already are. And excuse me, I, I am working on uh, this these allergies again. So um, as far as what I did do, uh, let's see. I did go ahead and do uh, this color in the crease, or right above the crease. And then I did this one in the crease. Um, I went ahead and used this on the inner corner and right under the eyebrow. And then I went ahead and used uh, this one right on the eyelid. And um, this one right as far as an eyeliner underneath. And uh, they're really pretty colors. And they really, you don't, like I said, you don't need to work to get a punch from them. They will, they're very saturated and, the, and they will go bam. So um, I'm, so I toned them down. That's basically what I did as far as I could here. And uh, this way the eye look turned out. So I think it turned out um, kind of pretty. And um, it's a palette that I keep on wanting to go back to. And I keep on wanting to work with. Uh, the other palette that they have that's going to, into Target is called Fresh Greens. And that one actually has everything based on yellow. So it has a lot of greens based on yellow going toward olive kind of thing. And so this one was a little bit different. I want to work with it some more. Um, I don't think I've caught or quite gotten there all the way yet with this palette, but it's always fun to have something, you know, to that sparks your imagination. So this one does. 